For more than a hundred years, scientists have been captivated by the mysterious allure of black holes. The idea, which began to gain serious attention around 1916, has evolved into one of the most compelling enigmas in modern astrophysics. These celestial curiosities occupy a fascinating crossroads where gravity dominates and our understanding falls silent. A black hole, possibly weighing between two to four million times the mass of our sun, continues to be a cosmic riddle. Despite decades of intense research, our understanding has expanded from almost no knowledge to piecing together more details, with even more discoveries being made recently. A breakthrough by M. Yakubu has revealed startling insights about the interior of black holes, which may challenge our long-held assumptions and offer new perspectives on the nature of these celestial bodies. This new information opens doors to deeper explorations into what might have been overlooked until now. Join us as we venture further into the fascinating world of black holes and uncover what's hidden within the universe's vast and inspiring expanse. But what exactly are black holes? Before we delve into the latest findings by Yakubu, it's essential to revisit the basic understanding of black holes. While most of us have at least a general sense of what a black hole is, there are still some key elements that remain unclear. In 1916, Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of general relativity predicted the existence of black holes. At that time, the notion was purely theoretical. It wasn't until about 50 years later that evidence was discovered confirming that black holes are real objects in space. This revelation came in the 1960s during studies of the star X1, a luminous celestial body emitting X-rays. Observations showed that these X-rays were not just randomly moving but were being drawn into a dense, invisible mass. This mass, later identified as a black hole, changed our perception of the cosmos. The discovery was monumental, as it proved that black holes were not figments of Einstein's imagination but tangible, elusive entities that warranted further investigation. Following this groundbreaking discovery, Scientists worldwide began a global quest to uncover more about black holes. Their efforts led to the realization that the Milky Way alone may host around 100 million black holes. Though, due to the challenges in detecting them, this estimate remains imprecise. Even though black holes are incredibly difficult to pinpoint, scientists believe that millions of these massive entities are hidden within our galaxy, making it even more crucial to understand them. Let's break down the core concept of gravity. Black holes exert such immense gravitational forces that anything entering their domain is squeezed into a singularity, a point where the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. In simpler terms, black holes are like gigantic vacuum cleaners, pulling everything into them. One of the most terrifying aspects of studying black holes is that, if someone were to fall into one, they would gradually stretch out and become a singularity their body torn apart by the intense gravitational forces before the point of total destruction. It's best to avoid getting too close to one, though they are scattered across the universe. Despite the nearest black hole being nearly 500 light years away, the proximity still raises legitimate concerns. In 2021, scientists achieved a historic milestone by capturing the first clear image of a black hole, the M87 black hole. This achievement was the result of numerous nights spent taking photos and aligning them to create a single cohesive image. As more data was gathered, researchers were able to discern that black holes consist of three distinct layers. Contrary to the common misconception that they are just endless voids, the first of these layers is called the event horizon, which marks the point beyond which nothing can escape. Once something crosses this boundary, it is inevitably drawn toward the black hole. The second layer, known as the photon sphere, is where light itself gets trapped, unable to escape due to the powerful gravitational forces at play. Finally, there is the singularity where all matter is compressed into an infinitely small point, a place where the very fabric of reality collapses and all known laws of physics break down. What's even more intriguing is that each black hole is unique in its own right. While they follow the general three-layer structure, the way they behave can vary significantly. This makes them particularly challenging to study, as conventional scientific methods don't apply to the study of black holes. Scientists have no choice but to investigate these anomalies through indirect means, such as observing the radiation emitted from them or analyzing the gas and dust swirling around them. Sending a probe directly into a black hole is an exercise in futility, 
as anything that crosses the event horizon is inevitably pulled toward the singularity, where it is crushed into nothingness. This unavoidable fate means that billions of dollars cannot be spent on probes that would meet their end before offering any valuable data. Consequently, researchers are left to study black holes in two dimensions, despite them being three-dimensional singularities. Adding to the complexity of black hole research is the fact that no two black holes are identical. When studying them, we must account for the breakdown of physics as we know it. Theories about the origins of black holes suggest that they may form when massive stars collapse in on themselves. As a star burns through its fuel, it can no longer produce enough energy to counterbalance the inward pull of gravity, leading to its eventual collapse into a black hole. If the star is massive enough, this process continues until the collapsing matter becomes a singularity. To further understand the nature of black holes, NASA scientists turned their attention to the center of the universe, particularly the M87 galaxy. There, they observed a powerful whirlpool of hydrogen gas spinning at mind-boggling speeds of 1.2 million miles per hour. The centrifugal force should have caused this gas to fly apart, but instead it remained intact, suggesting the presence of a massive object at the center, likely a black hole. This object is believed to weigh up to 3 billion times the mass of our sun. Another significant theory was proposed in 1963 by New Zealand mathematician Royer, who used Einstein's equations to describe the behavior of rotating black holes. He argued that, rather than collapsing into a point as previously thought, a rotating black hole forms a thin, ring-like structure known as the ergosphere. This rotating disk of matter is key to understanding the breakdown of physical laws in the vicinity of black holes. Royer's model also predicted the existence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge, a theoretical wormhole that could provide a shortcut through space-time, connecting distant regions of the universe or even parallel universes. To grasp the idea of a wormhole, it's important to understand the concept of space-time as described in Einstein's theory. Space-time is a four-dimensional fabric that is warped by objects with mass. This warping creates gravitational fields that influence the movement of other objects. Think of space-time as a piece of paper, and if you fold the paper, you create a shortcut between two points. This shortcut is the essence of a wormhole, a passage through space-time that could connect distant locations almost instantaneously. Although wormholes are a theoretical concept and no direct evidence of them exists, they are a natural consequence of general relativity. However, wormholes are inherently unstable, meaning they would collapse quickly if created. Despite this, the idea of a wormhole as a potential gateway to different parts of the universe, or even different points in time, has captured the imagination of physicists for years. One specific type of wormhole, known as the CR wormhole, has been a subject of fascination. Named after Royer, this hypothetical wormhole could theoretically connect two distant points in space-time, possibly even linking different universes or timelines. While the idea of using wormholes for interstellar or time travel is exciting, there are significant challenges to overcome. For one, wormholes are predicted to be unstable, and the extreme radiation and forces surrounding them would make it nearly impossible to traverse them safely. Critics argue that Einstein's equations, while useful for understanding gravity, do not account for the quantum forces that govern radiation and subatomic particles. To truly understand black holes and wormholes, a new theory is needed, one that unifies gravity with quantum mechanics. This theory, often referred to as the theory of everything, is a quest that many physicists, including renowned scientist M. Yakubu, have pursued for years. One promising candidate for this theory is superstring theory, which suggests that subatomic particles are actually tiny vibrating strings. The theory proposes that these strings create the universe's fabric, explaining not only gravity, but also the phenomena surrounding black holes and wormholes. However, superstring theory also requires the existence of extra dimensions of space-time that are so small that they are impossible to detect with current technology. Despite the challenges, the pursuit of understanding black holes, wormholes, and the fabric of space-time continues to captivate scientists, offering the potential for groundbreaking discoveries that could reshape our understanding of the universe. Continuing from where we left off, the pursuit of superstring theory and other theories that aim to unify the forces of nature is an ongoing challenge, but it holds the promise of unlocking new insights into the very nature of reality itself. 
These theories propose that the universe is composed of more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. In fact, they suggest that additional dimensions exist, but they are so minuscule and compact that we are unable to observe them directly with current technology. However, their existence could provide the key to understanding phenomena like black holes, wormholes, and the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. Superstring theory offers a fascinating picture of the universe, proposing that all matter and forces are manifestations of tiny vibrating strings. These strings can vibrate at different frequencies, with each vibration corresponding to a different particle. Just as a guitar string can produce different musical notes based on how it vibrates, the fundamental particles of nature might correspond to different vibrational patterns of superstrings. If proven, this theory would not only provide a unified explanation for the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force, but also open up entirely new ways of understanding the universe's structure. This could potentially provide answers to some of the biggest questions in physics, including the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which together account for a vast majority of the universe's mass and energy, but remain largely mysterious. Yet despite its elegance and promise, superstring theory remains unproven. One of the major hurdles in testing the theory is the fact that the extra dimensions it predicts are so minuscule that they are beyond our current observational capabilities to detect. To detect these dimensions, we would need instruments of unprecedented sensitivity and precision. Even then, the evidence might be indirect. This makes superstring theory a challenging subject to test through traditional scientific methods. Yet, its mathematical beauty and coherence make it one of the most compelling ideas in theoretical physics. At the same time, scientists are also working on other approaches that might lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of black holes. For example, quantum gravity is another field of research that seeks to combine the principles of quantum mechanics, which govern the behavior of subatomic particles, with the theory of general relativity, which explains the behavior of large objects like planets, stars, and black holes. The hope is that, by merging these two theories, scientists can gain a clearer understanding of how gravity works on the quantum level, and in turn gain deeper insights into the nature of black holes and other cosmic phenomena. The intersection of quantum mechanics and general relativity is especially crucial when studying black holes, because the extreme conditions near a black hole's event horizon, where gravity is extraordinarily intense, demand a theory that can account for both quantum effects and relativistic effects. In fact, the interior of a black hole where the singularity exists is one of the most puzzling and extreme environments in the universe. The singularity represents a point where space and time become so warped that the usual laws of physics break down. Understanding what happens in such a place requires a theory that can reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity. This has led to the development of ideas like loop quantum gravity and other quantum gravity models which aim to resolve these contradictions and provide a more complete picture of black holes. As we continue to probe the mysteries of black holes, one thing is certain. The more we learn, the more we realize how much there is still to discover. Black holes are not just points of destruction but are also places of incredible complexity and potential. Whether they are gateways to other dimensions, as some theorists believe, or whether they hold the key to understanding the deepest secrets of space and time, black holes remain a crucial area of study. As our tools and theories evolve, so too will our understanding of these enigmatic objects. Looking ahead, the next major challenge will be to refine our methods of observing and studying black holes. One of the most exciting advancements in recent years has been the development of gravitational wave astronomy. Gravitational waves are ripples in spacetime caused by the acceleration of massive objects, such as the merging of black holes. By detecting and analyzing these waves, scientists can learn about the behavior of black holes and other celestial objects in ways that were previously impossible. The detection of gravitational waves has already provided groundbreaking insights into the dynamics of black hole mergers, and future experiments are likely to yield even more revelations. Another promising area of research involves the use of advanced telescopes and imaging techniques. The Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, which produced the first image of a black hole in the M87 galaxy, is an example of how innovative technology can shed new light on black holes. By combining data from multiple radio telescopes around the world, 
the EHT was able to capture an image of the black hole's shadow, offering a glimpse into one of the universe's most mysterious phenomena.